So now we've finished the reference data process, we now would need to choose the target printer data. So if we were using one single device, we would not normally do this immediately after the reference data, but a couple of months down the line or after a service or technical intervention on the machine. If you are using multiple devices, then when we go to print the target printer data, we would choose a different printer within our within VersaWorks. So as we can see here, we have an SG2300 and we have another SG2300. So we would use the second device for printing the target printer data. For this example, however, we're going to show you printing the chart on the same device that we have just printed the reference data, just to show you for a demonstration. So next we go to the print chart tab again, and this time we choose target printer data. Again, we need to choose the printing conditions. So in this example, they need to be the same as the reference printer data. If you're unsure what settings you use, you can go back to the reference printer data and you can see this information here in the creation conditions. So we need to choose the same conditions for the target printer data as we had for the reference printer data. And again, now we're going to print that chart. Now that we've printed the target printer data, again we head back to the measurement chart and we need to re-measure this new chart in the same way that we did the reference chart data. So first of all we need to calibrate the device again by holding this on the blank patch next to the, next to the small black circle and waiting until we hear a beep sound. I'll follow the on-screen instructions as to which of the patches we need to start with, which is the top left. So the screen tells us measure the C0 swatch. And again, hold the color reading end of the device over the patch and push the button once. As soon as you hear a small beep, we can move on to the next patch. Follow the on-screen instructions and do this until we've finished reading the chart. Now that we've finished measuring the target printer, again, we need to register this. So we choose the target printer data. So again, we're going to name this the name of the device that we're using and the date. You can also add the media name that you use for the chart printing. As you can see here in the target printer data, we've now registered our target printer data and we can see the configurations that we use when we printed that. You can also save these reference and target printer data files. Select the device and you can see that there's a save to file option. We recommend saving your reference printer data file somewhere outside of VersaWorks so that you can always access this should you need to down the line.